Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, artist living in Costa Rica. Um, I usually introduce myself as a mixed media artist and I don't even know what kind of an artist I am right now. I am happy in Costa Rica. We've been here for almost two months now, um, maybe a mm, month and three quarters, something like that. And uh, I have left my altered books behind. There's a lot of moisture here, so I don't think the Mod Podge... I think I'd have uh, doorstops <laughs> instead of uh, altered books, which of course is not quite the idea. I'm doing slow stitching. I will show you some of that after uh, I do a little chat with you. The mixed media, you know, I was kind of thinking about it in my quiet time. I just came out of the pool, so uh, living the, the good life here. We've walked the dogs, and I've gone for a swim. We've gone for a little hike, um, and I'm about ready to do my yoga now. So um, I was thinking about the different kind of arts that I've been able to play with in the years gone by and what I'm doing now and the mixed media was like uh, running and uh, high energy and enthusiastic and creative and playful and all those things and I don't have a lot of those supplies with me here um, right now in Costa Rica I have a lot of things well I purged a lot of things a lot of you uh, walked that walk with me while I was purging and the rest of the supplies that I have are basically in storage, still in California. So what I have been doing, because I don't have my sewing machine or anything, so I've been doing slow stitching. Um, and that's more like doing yoga. So the mixed media was like running. <laughs> and the slow stitching is uh, meditative and slower and very enjoyable, but it's more like yoga. So a few adjustments that have to happen um, in, in my head and in my heart as far as uh, what's going on art-wise. A little bit of a slump, um, and I think that that is pretty normal uh, since we have spent so much time uh, getting ready to make the move, selling things, purging things, um, selling more things, giving things away and then relocating to a beautiful paradise here in uh, Costa Rica. But we are not in our own home yet. So uh, I'm learning the language, slow but sure. Uh, I drove for the first time today, so that was victorious. Um, Hudson's very happy. He has a friend Mowgli here. Right, Mowgli? Hmm? And uh, we're dog sitting for Mowgli. He's a good guy. And uh, yeah, we're doing well. Um, but I'm I'm in kind of an art slump, um, limbo. Not quite sure where I am going with that. And I think that just needs to be okay for now. So I wanted to do a little video and keep everyone informed as to what's going on here in Platineo, Costa Rica. And I will show you some of the slow stitching that I have been playing with. And there will be more slow stitching in our future. So thank you so much for joining in on the journey, on the adventure. And thank you for your patience while I'm not on the table. And I know a lot of you have been doing slow stitching, and I know there's a lot of slow stitching artists on YouTube, and I will show you what I've been doing. All right, thanks again for um, coming along, and sort of, see you on the table. Okay, my supplies for this project, my fabric scissors, this is number eight uh, cotton pearl thread. My pins in my pin cushion. Some of you made a pin cushion along with me when I made this a couple years ago. And a needle. I have a sharp needle with a large eye. So that is what I'm using to play with. And then scraps. 
fabric scraps, which I love. And the base of my project is a vintage dress, cotton vintage dress, child's dress. It's beautiful. And I started at the bottom. I did not have the uh, pearl thread at the time, so I used what I had. And I started with different um, stitches on the bottom. Then I had my pearl thread and I went with some circles, half circles. This is a heart, half circle, kind of a swirl and circles. And then I took a smaller uh, scrap and this is a straight stitch here, 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 and here. And then I discovered how much fun I have with circles. So these are cut circles on top of the fabric. You can see the circles, the patterns of the circles, so much fun. Those are definitely my favorites. And then up here, I'll say on the yoke of the dress, I cut out circles and did spirals. Actually, they're spirals. Those are, those are the most fun for me. Now I'm on the sleeves and I'm doing a straight stitch like this and I'm working on this one right here. So I can show you a little bit on how I do my straight stitch. I'm standing which is different because usually I have this in my lap. And each row has its own challenge which I think is really fun. I'll take this pin out for now. And you will find your own stride, so to speak, for how big you like your stitches. And then you just basically use the line before. That's, that's for me, that's a really fun part of this is to try to make each line straight using the line before as a gauge. And it'll go wonky. And then the next line you'll try to make it a little bit straighter. And continue on. So if you're interested on in how I make the spirals, because I know there's a lot of artists out there that are doing slow stitching right now, but if you are interested in how I make the spirals, let me know and I can wiggle my way through a spiral for you. See, that's a little crooked. I'm okay with that because the next line will be straighter. And that's the challenge for me, is to see how, actually, how straight I can make these. This is a lovely way to settle in and do a little something something. So there's the sleeve. Not quite sure what I'm going to do across here yet, whether I'll put more circles up in here. I love the collar of the dress, so not quite sure what I'm going to do. So there you have it. That's what Lori Marie's been doing in Costa Rica. Thank you so much for coming along. I really appreciate your support while I'm taking a little sabbatical and doing slow stitching. I hope, uh, hope you're doing some slow stitching too. Go create, go play, go have fun.